Now I first give the floor to Mr. Richard Scholz, please. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, Madam President, Mr. Secretary General, uh, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to address a crucial matter that demands our attention, the proposed amendment to the Rule 35 of the OEC PA Rules of Procedure. The context for this proposal stems from our recent standing committee meeting during the Vancouver annual session, where numerous amendments were presented for consideration. Notably, one proposal sought to introduce a suspension mechanism for countries blatantly violating OEC commitments and international law. The International Secretariat and President Sederfeld argued that the amendment couldn't be deliberated upon because Turkey and importantly Belarus, absent from the annual session, had submitted written objections. It was due to these absentee objections submitted by the Belarus delegation that the amendment could not be considered. The Secretariat arguing that Turkey and Belarus make up to two objections which automatically rejects the amendment according to the tradition at the OEC Permanent Council, all minus two. It is perplexing that we are relying on the procedures of the OEC per Permanent Council, a body of ambassadors, rather than adhering to parliamentary practices befitting our status as a parliamentary assembly. The tradition of in-person voting in Parliament should guide our decisions, not the bureaucratic working of Permanent Council, whose decision-making has led to a regrettable paralysis within the OECE. Importantly, our Assembly Rules of Procedure do not account for written objections, unlike the Permanent Council rules. Drawing an analogy between the two sets of rules is not only inappropriate but also illogical, given the fundamental differences in their decision-making structures. I firmly assert that any provision for objections at the OEC Parliamentary Assembly Standing Committee must be something that committee has made a decision on. Therefore, I propose an amendment to the Rule 35, which reads, the principle of consensus minus one takes into account written objections communicated to the President of the Assembly by the head of the national delegation not later than one hour before the announced time for the opening of a standing committee meeting. However, dear colleagues, I must simultaneously underline that foundational principle of my proposal is within the vote itself. I myself do not believe that this proposal should necessarily be adopted, and I will vote against it myself. What I believe is important is the setting of precedent with this vote, with which we either specify the rules of procedure for absentee voting or determine that such voting, even with references to tradition of the Permanent Council, is not permissible within our assembly. It is with the aim to strengthen our commitment to democratic principles and parliamentary practices. Let us not be swayed by procedural hurdles, but focus on creating an environment that upholds the values we collectively stand for in the OEC Parliamentary Assembly. And it has come to my attention that there will be attempt to move this proposed amendment to the Rules of Procedure Committee for further scrutiny. I have to strongly object to such a move, Madam President, because the rule is very clear and basic, which has been adopted in previous sessions. And none of the sessions, the Rules of Procedure Committee ever objected to such a practice so therefore, any further discussions are just a waste of time, and I call for na uh, the Parliamentary Assembly here and today cast their vote either in support or against my proposed amendments for the rules of procedure. Thank you very much. Obviously, I don't want to abuse the time. I, I made my, my uh, arguments, and uh, Mr. Motella, obviously, it is something that I reflect from the Vancouver session where Mr. Baker in particular, when I raised the question where in the rules of procedure is actually entitled that somebody who is not present can submit objection that is counting as a vote, he stated that it's actually adopted tradition from the permanent council. So based on all that, and obviously there was as well the written objection by the Belarus uh, delegation. So therefore it doesn't change the substance. I don't, I don't think that the matter is about what 
exactly happened, but the thing is to actually that we have to agree if that is okay or not okay in the parliamentary assembly to, to cast such a vote. Thank President, you. well, there's a lot of to obviously digest. I think the, in the end, the discussion somewhat kind of diverted from the amendment. Uh, it's not about the dialogue. It's about the, the principles and how we conduct our parliamentary assemblies and how exactly parliamentarian uh, work is being conducted. I mean, name one parliament in the world in which MPs can vote not being present at the session. Just one parliament in the world. There's none. So with this amendment, that is my conviction. I propose because it will be illogical for me to propose amendment to forbid something. So only way we can decide as institution, as the heads of the delegation, is by voting, as we do in the parliaments. And also, the 19 signatories from seven member states, they have the democratic rights to submit this, and they have the rights for you also for you to be asked to vote on that, to cast your attitude, either in support or against. So therefore, saying that this is undemocratic it's in its basis wrong. This is exactly how we conduct business in parliaments. Yes, you might like it, you might not like it, you might say, well, this is being tricked around. No, but this is the only way how we can say that further in our uh, sessions that we either accept those who are not present, their right to vote or not. So I, I really, if there is still discussion to ongo and have a large, you know, for for internity discussions, I will suggest then to divide the votes today. First to vote in order to submit to the Rules of Procedure Committee. If it's not submitted to the Re Rules of Procedure Committee, I ask to vote for the proposed amendments here and now at the Standing Committee. Thank you.